Hello, my dear friends. How are we today? Lori from Art Lore. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have a new color palette and of course it's based around my beautiful Harvest Gold. Um, today I tried a good brown and the Van Dyke brown, which I love, tends to pull a little bit gray. And I did a few uh, samples of that and it still was pulling gray for me. And um, it was hard for me to um, actually get a true brown. And I don't even know if there is a true brown out there. If there is, let me know. Um, like I said, you know, before I'm new to this and I'm learning as I go. And so what I did today was I just made my own brown. We're gonna see how it works and see how it's going to look on the canvas as, if it really will pull brown or if it'll pull more gray. Um, the color palette I think is going to be really pretty. It's very simple, it's very soft. Um, yeah, let's get down to the canvas, let's make a mess, give you my colors, show you what I did, and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to try something a little different today to get you up a little higher so you can see a little bit more from a bird's eye view, hopefully. Okay, so the first color is the Liquitex Light Pink. And I put in just a small little tiny bit of um, Bordeaux by Arteza. And then I added just like a fleck, and I mean a fleck of black, just to tone it down a little bit because I really wanted that. That's looking pretty thick too. They've been sitting a while because I've been screwing up on making paint colors. So they've been sitting a while. So I may have to thin that down a bit. In fact, let me go grab my thinner right now. And then of course, the lovely, lovely, lovely TLP. Harvest Gold. This one here is Bordeaux, and I also added with this one here, what is that? Something, hold on one sec, I gotta get rid of that. I added just a, just a minuscule, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black, just to give it a little bit more uh, deeper tone. That's it. This one here is white, and I did just a little tiny bit of um, the Liquitex Burnt Umber, and no, I'm so sorry, the Burnt Sienna. And the white, I just used the Artist Loft White, and it was looking just kind of flat to me, so I drizzled a little bit of the Harvest Gold in there, just to give it I don't know, little shimmer, hopefully. Um, but I think it's a really, really pretty beigey uh, tone. There's no gray to it. It's just a pretty beige. And now here is the brown. And I mixed Oxide Black by Amsterdam and Artist Loft Vermilion. I mixed black and orange and got this yummy brown. So I'm hoping that it will pull brown on the canvas. So let's see. All right, now while I'm mixing up my little pinky color here, toning this, uh, thinning this down a little bit. Oh, my nose itches, sorry. Um, it's spring here in Michigan and um, April, we had the, we ranked first or second, I don't know, for the least amount of sun. Oh my gosh, how horrible. Um, but anyway, everything is in bloom. Uh, no pun intended there. Um, and so is my face. So, um, yeah. There, that's better. That's a way better consistency. I don't know if you remember how thick that was, but... This is how I like to see it, just a little bit thinner. Okay, and that still might even be a little bit too thick. We'll see how the first bloom goes. 
So now we have to figure out, um, I think I'm gonna put gloves on. We have to figure out in order, and I think I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, the brown first, because I do want to see a good portion of that brown in there, but I don't know if I'll put a whole lot of it down. Um, but let's just try it and see what happens. If I don't like it, I'm scraping it, and then we'll do it over. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to go, hmm. I think we'll go right here. All right, so we're going to go with the brown first. Then we're going with this nice pretty tan with the gold flecks. See how that works. Ooh, that's pretty. It almost has a little bit of a mauvey, taupey tone, which, you know, it does have gray, but so, I don't know, maybe it's just pulling that way because it's on top of the brown, I don't know. Colors are weird, the way they pull when they're paired next to each other. Uh, excuse me, my board is falling off my table here. Okay, so here is the Bordeaux. And then the Yummy TLP Harvest Gold. And that I'm just going to drizzle and glob. That was not a drizzle, that was a glob. But that's okay. Can't have too much of that. And then the last one is my light pink. I'm just going to put a little in the center and then drizzle around. Pop that little bubble there. Okay. And here is my cell activator, which is the Aussie Flow Troll. And that is three parts. And I do one part of the Oxide Black by Amsterdam. That bubble did not pop, so out you go. There you go. Okay, so here we go. I almost think my cell activator might be just a little thick. It's been sitting for a few days. So, all right, cool fan, high air. still need to work on getting my cell activator on that side so yeah but I think it'll be okay because I think some of that will come off but that gold in there with the Bordeaux is beautiful and the tan is really pretty with that gold yeah and the brown didn't take over too much and it is looking a little tiny bit gray but it's not bad so let's do another bloom right here. I think we'll do it in the same order. And we'll go right about here. Looks like this is kind of thickening up also. My pillow is the Multi Pro uh, PPG. And I get that at Home Depot and it's the 47 and I get the eggshell. I love this pillow. I think we have a fair amount of the Bordeaux in there. Quite a bit of Bordeaux, so I went a little bit less on this one here. And I think I'll put a little bit more cell activator down, and then I'll see what happens. 
And I, I tend to be frugal. And I feel like sometimes I just don't put enough and then I go overboard and then I put too much. So this time I am going to add just a little bit more of the cell activator. It is selling up quite pretty in the center there though, um, except for that one side. I may have to pull some of that out of there. But the cells right here are magnificent. I wish I could get that on both sides. So let's see. Okay, that was way more than I normally do. Now let's see what happens. Okay, that was way better, way better. I have cells now all the way around. And I think also what I'm doing wrong is when I go in and I shoot the cell activator the very first time, when I go in, I think I'm hitting a little bit too much over here. So I need to go aim more for the center and bring the center portion of that cell activator over. Then when I want to go to this side, I've got cell activator left over to push over there. So this is selling up really pretty. And let me see, I'm not quite sure I like that little line right there. So there, that's better. Just get rid of that a little bit. Okay, so we need a little tiny bit more, um, I was going to say soap. We need a little bit more paint there um, for the uh, petals to flow onto. There's not enough here on the edge. So let's just add a little bit more. My uh, pouring medium, by the way, is uh, the Bare 8300, which is untinted. And then I do one part of that, and then I do one part of the Sherwin-Williams in the Infinity, and that also is untinted. And I mix those two together, equal parts, and then I do one part of the polyacrylic, uh, the Minwax polyacrylic, and I use the clear semi-gloss, and I'm really loving this combination. I mean, truth be told, I almost want to think that um, the Painted Dreamer, I think that was her, uh, one of her formulas, <coughs> excuse me, long time ago when I first started doing all of this, and I just kind of stumbled on it in my notes, and I didn't have who created that formula. It's not my creation at all, but um, I think it's hers. And um, if I'm wrong, please let me know. There's a chunk of white right there. I need to get rid of that. I don't like that there. Hold on. There. If you use the bottom portion, the flat side of your skewer, and just dip slightly, don't go all the way down to the canvas, but just dip slightly, it will pull the paint up and then it'll push the solid or the white down. So yeah, that's selling up great. That is perfect. Now I wish I would have done that here. So should I scrape that? I don't know. Well, let's put a bloom here and see what happens. Um, I'm going to just quickly thin you out just a bit. That's better. Let's put a bloom here. And right there. Just a small one. 
Oh, and then I mixed, the, I don't know if I finished what I was saying. So they're equal parts, but the untinted is two parts because I'm using the bare and the infinity. So equal parts, one part and one part. So that's my two. And then my one is the polycrylic. And then I do about three ounces or so of that in, in my container. And then I add in my, um, my paint. And with my TLP, I did about an eighth teaspoon of TLP and then just a little tiny squirt of the Liquitex pouring medium with the E. It's got to say the E. Um, I'll show it to you. It's this one here. Right there. There's the E. And I think that that, it's for effects. It stands for effects. And I think that helps a little bit with cells. Okay, so here is the last one, which is the pink. Truly, I'm thinking of scraping that, but we'll see how it spins out. I don't know. But man, oh man, cell explosion. Note to self, add more cell activator. Okay, so here we go. And now some noise. I didn't do that one very well either, but maybe I'll just kind of um, sell up here. And um, when we spin, maybe it'll be okay. All right, so this one here needs to come up and set up in the center. So let's give that a couple of minutes. But that gold mixed in with that tan color it's really pretty and with the harvest gold mixing in with it um wow is that ever pretty yeah so let's just give that a few minutes okay and then we'll be right back all righty i think it sold up pretty nice um this one is magnificent i wish that one would have been in the center but it's not, so we'll deal with it. This one turned out pretty good. Not as good as that, but better than this one. So, um, yeah, let's give it a spin and see what happens. Um, get my board here. All right, here we go. Paint is quite thick for my pillow, so we're going to have to work at that and get some of that off of there. Um, I have noticed that the Multi Pro is a bit thin, which is fine, um, but I just personally like my pillow really thick, so I let the can sit out for a couple of days with no lid. I just put a dry paper towel over it, and I just let it sit out for a little bit. This is looking pretty good, actually. Even the part where I didn't do my cell activator, where I didn't blow it out correct. Um, I think that's quite pretty. I think with another couple of spins, um, yeah, I think it'll be nice. So let's do it again. Oopsies, kind of slippery.
Yes, looking good. Not sure I really like this part here. My hands are too wet. I can't put my hand over the canvas. Um, I don't like this part right here. So I'm going to try and disrupt that. There. Now hopefully that will just come off a little bit. Yeah, I didn't care for that. Okay, let's give this another spin. This time hopefully it won't be so um, wimpy. There we go. That's better. Hmm. Still getting a lot of paint off. Um, you can tell right through there how it's rolling over the old paint that was on the side, which is great because we want all of that off. However, I am going to fill in a couple little holes here and that will help to get that to flow off even more once I spin again. Yes. Clean my spoon off. Grab some of this white. Bring it down to the end and then just add it right in there and that will help to carry that paint down all the way over the edge. Yes, we have lots of paint. So that tells me that I'm going to spin again. Okay, let's move my hands. It's really pretty though. I like the color combination. Um, the tan is actually showing up in spots. Like this here is tan with a gold fleck. And that's really pretty. So let's spin one more time. I'm actually going in the opposite direction. Didn't really plan on that, but I don't know if it even matters. I'm sure it does. And yes, lots of paint still coming off. I am going to measure and see how much we have in the middle because I'm liking what I see and I'd like to stop. So let's just do a random spot here. Ooh, that's nice. It's not too bad. I feel like there's well, it must be an illusion. I felt like there was something in there, but it must just be an illusion. It's beautiful. The gold. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just can't get enough of this gold. Okay, I'm going to take you down. I'll fiddle with it off camera so that I don't... Uh, make this video too long and boring um, but I'm very happy with the results 
I love the color palette. I think I'll do a couple more of these actually off camera. Um, but I love this size canvas. And um, I believe it is, this is a 12 by 24. And it's a gallery wrap from Michaels. And this is like one of my favorite canvas sizes. I like the 18 by 24s and I love this size. I just feel like the composition is just really pretty. And I feel like you can, you got just enough bloom, not too many blooms, not too much busyness going on. You still get a little bit of negative space. This balances out with that. Um, this is a great focal point and the eye travels up. So yeah, let me turn it your way. And I think it's really pretty. So let me take you down and you can get a nice close up. And you'll hear a little snap. Sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn you this way. and grab it on to my phone here so I don't drop her. And there is the bloom. And I'm glad I kind of got rid of that line through there. It's not so bad anymore. Look at how that gold just shimmers and takes over, but in such a gorgeous way. It incorporates itself so lovely. The TLPs, they, they really... Um, I've said it before, they're voodoo magic. They just incorporate so well. Look at the gold there. Isn't that pretty? And that center turned out wonderful. And that right there is where I missed my cell activator because I really think I didn't have enough. Um, but it's okay. It's pretty. I like it. And that petal is gorgeous. Very wispy. And then, of course, this petal up here came off the edge, which is fine because it left just the petals, and that's what I love. So I think it turned out wonderful. I hope you do, too. Thank you so much for letting me into your home today. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe. And leave me a comment. would love to hear your feedback. And until next time, bye.